Tomorrow is my first full work day back in the new year and I have an idea, I've had an idea for a while now of how I'd ideally like to structure my days to get the most out of them, to, I don't know, move more slowly, more intentionally, potentially do less but still get more done. And I know that when you're implementing new habits, it's best to do them gradually. But I thought it'd be a fun experiment to see just how far I can get, how doable, um, how effective my ideal workday can be for me. If nothing else, I would love to use it as a way to kind of pinpoint anywhere that I might be tripping up, any parts of my routine that might need changing, any parts of the plan that don't quite add up. So I can set myself up for success going into the future, adjust those goals and habits where needs be to really set myself up for the best success going into the new year. Now what I'm looking for ideally is more balance, more focus, just uh, working when I'm supposed to be working, moving around more and being more creative, having more time for art. So it sounds really simple, it should be, but somehow it never is. So. Off the top of my head, my ideal day consists of getting up early-ish, for me that's about eight, having a really filling breakfast and then having some time to read, to sketchbook, to spend some time in my journal, all before I get to actual work. I'd like to have that time to myself to be creative and just express myself a little bit before I dive right in because after that, I really want to stick to a focused day of work, sticking to one to maximum three main tasks, not going here, there and everywhere as I normally do, just really having a set goal for the day and doing everything I can to achieve it. And then the only other thing within that would be having regularly timed breaks that would ideally involve some movement. So I'm gonna kind of write out a roughish schedule of what that day might look like, sticking to the structure that I know works for me focus-wise, which is 45 minutes of work on and then 15 minutes break and then repeating that as many times as I need to. So I'm looking at an 8am start waking up. Uh, I think tomorrow might be a bit more of a challenge just because Ozzy's home from work and it's always really difficult to get out of bed when someone else is staying in it but I'll do my best and I want to spend some time reading while I have my breakfast. Then about 8.45 I would have a shower and get ready and I only really anticipate that taking 15 minutes. Uh, being a bit ambitious there, but I think what will help will be planning my clothes the night before, so I'm actually gonna do that now. Okay, so that would take us to nine o'clock when I would do some journaling, maybe for about half an hour, and then after that would be about an hour of sketchbooking. So that would be my chunk of morning without my phone on, without emails, without any distractions or anything else, just time to myself. And then I would jump straight into work at half 10. And as I said, I wanna to stick to just a few meaningful tasks. Um, it's an admin day, Monday is always an admin day for me, so I know that I have a video to edit, um, I have my taxes to pay, and I have some orders to package up and send out. So that those will be my three things for tomorrow, and I feel like I can do that. I feel like if I just stick to that and nothing else, I'll be good. Um, so also in there, I wanna look at taking some breaks throughout the day, and really use those breaks to do things like maybe go for a walk, uh, do some stretching, um, I, I have a few other kind of habits and skills that I want to build this year, so maybe squeeze in a bit of practice on one of those during one of the breaks. And then the only other thing would really be to end my day by tidying the studio, getting the slate clean for the next day, making sure my plans are laid out, making sure that I'm just set up to have the same success the next day and the next day and the next day. So it should be quite simple. As I said, I am using this as an opportunity to see what works and what doesn't, what I can spend more time on or less time on. Um, but yeah, generally I'm feeling hopeful and hopefully it can be the start of a more balanced way of working and living. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning.
All right, so far, so good. My morning routine for me is solid, it's calm, it's creative. Uh, the getting ready portion, as expected, did take a bit longer, but the journaling portion took shorter than expected, so it did balance out. Um, having my clothes ready was great, that really helped. But one other thing that I think I'll prepare in the future is just having a few ideas of what I might do in my sketchbook, just coming up with a few ideas the night before so that in the morning, if I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm not feeling inspired, I'll at least have a backup idea of what I can do for that hour. Um, today, I just went through my phone and found a picture that I wanted to paint. But in the future, it'd be nice to have kind of a backup for what I want to do, especially if there's something that I want to practice. So maybe I'll make a list of things to work on in my sketchbook in that nice little creative time in the morning. But that was really, really nice. So now I can turn flight mode off. I was thinking last night that I need a bit more flexibility. The routine is feeling a bit rigid. I was lying in bed thinking about it. So what I'm going to do is use Google Calendar to map in those chunks of work and break. And so I'll be able to move them around if I need to, if unexpected things pop up, but I'll still be able to keep track of making sure I'm getting in that amount of work. It also means I can set notifications for when the work starts and when the break starts. So I'm not constantly setting timers on my phone, which makes a lot more sense. I'm also extending the work period by about half an hour. Um, 45 minutes is just the thing that's always worked for me, but I do think it feels a bit disjointed. It feels like as soon as I get deep into my work, I'm taking a break and it's on and off and on and off. So I'm gonna see if an hour and 15 minutes works for me. As I said, it's all an experiment. We're gonna see if I can stay focused for that long, but I think I'll be okay. And yeah, hopefully that'll be the new rhythm that I can set my day to. So I'm gonna start by just checking some emails really quickly. If there's anything urgent, I'll respond to it and then I can get started on my editing. Editing is something that I can really get sucked into um, and I end up spending hours hunched over my desk, not moving, not getting up. So it would be good to see if I can really commit to sticking to those times I've set myself and really making an effort to get up and move around. Right, time for my first break. That first chunk of work went really well, but as I said, editing is just one of those things that I can get sucked into. But the hour and 15 minutes worked really well. I'm gonna spend the next 15 minutes just having a walk around, uh, maybe water the plants, take the bins out, and then probably have a quick stretch before I get back to the next round of work. good actually I got to give my eyes a break from the screen that stretch really helps to wake me up a bit so I think that's something that I will keep doing as regularly as I can just to give myself a bit more energy I've got another hour and a bit of work now and I'm going to finish this edit probably move on to the next task while that's rendering and after that I think I'd scheduled it in 15 minutes for a walk but I don't think that's enough time to really get the most out of it by the time I put my coat on etc I'll have lost like half that time so I'm thinking 45 minutes to walk and have lunch We'll see how that works. I'm going to pop out to the bakery with Ozzy, get something for us to eat. And in the future, I plan on having a walk to the library at least once a week. And that can be my regular thing because I need the activity and I need to get outside. This is actually the part that's been giving me anxiety. I don't leave the house enough because I don't have to, but that needs to change. I'm desperate for a bit of the outdoors. I'm sure I'm hugely deficient in vitamin D and the longer I spend inside, the more anxiety inducing the thought of going outside becomes. So on top of trying to stick to that nice morning routine, my top non-negotiable for this year is going outside and going for a walk. And I'm aware that this might sound so over the top for people who go out and walk every day. I used to be that person. I walked half an hour to and from work every day but three years of working from home plus my underlying anxiety like bubbling up that was there anyway it's it's made it quite a thing now and I want to normalize getting out and about again so I'm easing my way back into it I'm glad I got Ozzy with me today and it's almost exciting having the library as my regular walking spot in the future so I can't wait to see how that goes <laughs> getting outside now I am a little bit behind schedule I kind of expected that uh, lunch took us a little bit over but I do think I'll be able to catch up because I am kind of ahead of where I thought I'd be with my task so I'm just here gonna pack a couple of orders then head back home and carry on with what I was doing there <laughs> I'm gonna be so cool. 
done all the things on my list which is good it's great other than making some cashew milk but that wasn't on my top three and I can just do that later on in the evening I finished all my work which is a big a big achievement uh, I think I still have another break and um, work sprint left so I think I'll spend that one I'll probably make that one just 45 minutes and spend it working on some stuff I didn't finish yesterday and um, the break I think I will use to do some touch typing practice because that's a skill that I want to work on this year and I don't need a proper break because I'm going to finish my day soon anyway um, if I think that'll be an hour that'll take me to like half five and then that'll be my work day completely done and I'll have done everything that I set out to do so yeah pat on the back for that I was hoping to fit in a workout I never can find the right time to squeeze one in um, no, no, I'm gonna do it. I'll find like a, a short video, something on YouTube that I can follow and just get it done. And then that'll be everything. That'll be everything that I set out to do today. I will have achieved. Um, but you'll have to take my word for it because I think I'm gonna end the video here. I will finish my ideal work day by tidying the studio, making sure that I'm clear on what I'm getting up to tomorrow, preparing my outfit and an idea of what I wanna work on in my sketchbook. This routine needs work for sure. Uh, I thought it would feel like I had more time, but somehow I felt like I had even less than usual. Uh, but I'm glad I gave it a go. It gives me somewhere to work from from now on. And the morning routine was spot on. I'm really looking forward to carrying that on for the rest of however long it lasts me. It's just the rest that needs figuring out, but I suppose I have from tomorrow onwards to do all of that. For now though, uh, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon for the next video.